So I just hook it in, go straight down from the top. So that top edge is like thinking of a, a capital letter T. That top edge is horizontal. My line is vertical from that, 90 degrees. Go straight down. Nice and gently. Try and keep it parallel to the sides. And then if you follow that rule of getting the angle right on all four, when you look underneath it, your little notch that shows on the bottom half now, they should all look in a good position. So you can hold it directly towards you and then see how symmetrical it is. And then turn it over and your notches should be in a good position. So next on the cylinder phrases. Uh, I would recommend go for one, I mean this is only just thinner, but I would recommend going for a, a very narrow one first of all, uh, just to get it to open up the, the slot for the claw first of all, and then because these spin, they can, you can find you may accidentally pull it one side or the other, or your angle's a bit wrong. Uh, if you do it with a thin one first, you've got opportunity to correct it, and then it'll still be good for the claw. If you go directly to the claw size, there's no room for error. Like if you tilt it one way, once you straighten up again, it's now too wide for the claw. So you end up having to fill up gaps with solder, making it, making it badly. So yeah, start with a thin one, I recommend it. I, I still do it. Like sometimes I feel confident and I'll just go straight to the proper size one, but usually if I'm trying to be a bit careful, or trying to really try and do something well, I'll start with a thin one. And just go straight down. From that again, being careful to keep it parallel with uh, with the sides, unless you've made it too small, and then that means you need to angle it out, so you'll be cutting more into the bottom. But you know all that from checking your stone on there. Just a little trial run, just looking at the side, just imagining how the claw is going to sit. Do I like the angle? I'm gonna put it in a little bit more. It's not sitting quite straight in there. It's being pushed out a little bit, which is good. That means that I'll have to cut a notch in it for the stone to be set, but it's not quite enough yet. So if I just keep it the same angle, but go in deeper, should be correct. I will do that and then I'll do the one next to it. I think it's just more convenient for looking and making sure they're in the same good position, like mirroring each other really well. If there's a claw in there, it looks a bit different. Um, it's just a bit harder to understand what's going on. So. Uh, yeah, I, I do actually, I never used to work like this, but now I do actually recommend cutting grooves, both grooves in first before you do any soldering. Looking at my symmetry, looking down on it, do you like the position of them? Still not totally too late to make a few changes. You could pull it one way or the other, or if you don't like one, or you like where one's sitting, the other one looks wrong slightly, you can pull it about a bit. This is something I do specifically. Other jewelers will do it differently. Like I've seen on other YouTube channels, like big jewelers channels where they go to put claws on a collet and they'll cut them off individually. Like I hate that. I want to I wanna have a, l a length of wire that I can see is perfectly straight. And if for any reason, like I knock it accidentally or whatever, I can straighten it easily. It's easier to hold onto a long bit of metal and get it straight than it is little short sections. <laughs> 